Hello, I'm Green. The man first of all. We're here with Pushy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to sing up the audio, and he keeps coming back and yelling at us. <laughs> and he thinks he's all special because he's got a white cloak. Tch. White cloak. Get it out of my face. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Um. So we had some problems last episode where, like, we lost half of it. And uh, <laughs> and we recorded today's episode, and we beat the game, and we were like, yeah. And then Elgato was like, <laughs> lol. And then, uh, so we lost today's episode. So now we're recording it again. So that's why the, uh, like, we might not be in the exact place we stopped yesterday. And um, it's also why, I mean, we've seen all of this before, yeah. unfortunately. So, like, you won't get to see our genuine, like, first impression dialogue or anything, but, uh, look, you know, things happen, and we just gotta deal with it, you know? You know, Caleb? Yeah. Okay! And we hate- He keeps yelling at us! Fine. And, uh, moral of the story is Elgato sucks. Yep. Like, it works, I would be happy if it worked 90% of the time. But I don't know. I feel like it's more like an 80% of the time. <laughs> and I'm not happy with that. I don't know if he's trying to be, like, encouraging. He's like, come on, we we do. Come on, come on. Or if he's or like, just come, like on. come on. I mean, he's played the game a lot since he's got his whole white scarf thing going on. So I'm sure he's probably like, dude, I'm just trying to beat it again. I'm trying to speedrun. You're ruining it. <laughs> well, don't care. Don't worry about us then. That was yeah. Sammy. And now Sammy's awake, so... Basically, we had a really great episode that we just recorded and we've just lost all of it and we're kind of we're a little peeved about it but like the game is good enough that it's calming us down again no i'm just fine st st mm, mm. Mm, it really really grinds my gears don't say that <laughs> you know what really grinds my gears no <laughs> what you got against grinding gears caleb I'm only into a certain type of grinding, and it's not gears. I'm just going down. Dude, grinding gears. It's a colloquial term of speech. What? It's just like something people say. It doesn't have anything to do with, you know, the sex thing. That's not what I was getting at, though. Or dancing, or whatever it is. Isn't grinding dancing? I'm pretty sure it's dancing. Yeah, I mean, it can be, yeah. It could be sexual, it could be dancing. Oh, I guess he could just make it up here the other way. At least he waited for us, thanks. Thanks. Oh, no. Mama, she told me not to go out. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but I said, no, I got, I'm going to see Timothy. And she said, no, it's too cold. I said, no, I will make it. <laughs> <laughs> but now, now. <laughs> now I see the error of my ways. Mama, I'm sorry, save me. <laughs> Mama, my hubris. It will be my downfall. <laughs> this game is all about hubris. Heh, <laughs> where's your scarf now? White cloaked mother. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I know you like brother more, but please help me. <laughs> please. Yo, what's up? Yeah, that's also why our uh, our scarf was shorter to begin with. Yeah. We, we had to go to the little chapter select thing to get back here. Which, I mean, at least there's a chapter select and we didn't have to play the game. I mean, I'd be fine with playing the game again, but we're kind yeah. of on a time schedule here. Yeah. Although, this, might, this little incident might have gotten us out of something we didn't want to do. Yep. Like... You ever join something, and whenever you join, you're really into it. You're like, this is fun. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, just, eventually you keep doing it because you, you know, it's just what you do. Yeah. And you yeah. just start thinking about it, and you're like, I don't, like, I don't know why I'm still doing it. Yeah, like, that's, that's, uh, me times two. Yeah, like, there's just not anything there for me, but I, I feel, you feel obligated to keep doing it. Yeah, well, I'm I'm obligated to do two of the things you're talking about because I'm a of a higher position, mm -hmm. and it's not like anyone else would be willing to. Well, maybe yeah. in one of them, but in the other one, I don't think there would be anyone that would be willing to take it because 
It's so small. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Mama. Ravioli. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> <laughs> ravioli she makes for him is just Chef Boyardee ravioli. But I like Chef. I like Chef Boyardee, too. You remember those commercials? I remember those commercials. The little, but I love Chef. The little girls would be like, I they, they were like out of Chef Boyardee or whatever. She would be like, no, honey, no Chef for tonight. And she's like, I like Chef. And then jump off the shelf and just whirl <laughs> But I love Chef. And then she just jumps off a building or something. Oh no, we died. Sammy, you're ruining this beautiful moment. Wait, it's... I a, mean, it's kind of sad. It's a bittersweet. No, it's sad. Here, here, Caleb, you oh, can play. Okay. I'm in control now, which won't help because we're dead. have judged you guilty of being unimpressive. <laughs> <laughs> Rise. Because we got nothing better to do with you. <laughs> Go on, get out. You don't even have a white cloak. What a scrub. Do it, Caleb. Hazubi! Into the eye of the storm, Twister, with, ah. with Bill Paxton. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see out there, David? Uh, it's Big Twister. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I really mess if you all just were just like that. Uh, yeah, there's a big Twister in the sky. Back to you. Where is it at? It's real close. To where? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're back in the sky. <laughs> or, I mean, we're in the sky for the first time for you guys. Wee! <laughs> this, Caleb mentioned this before whenever we recorded before, but this kind of, like, reminds me of, like, a, like some sort of Japanese-style village just in the mountains. Mm -hmm. like, uh, the, like, up the, in the Himalayas. Yeah, those architecture structures right there. It reminds me of, like, what you would see in front of, like, a Japanese shrine. This, okay, see if you follow me here. You remember in, uh... Uh, I think it was Sly Cooper 3 where you like were up in the mountains in like a snowy like place yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, whenever you went to fight him you like went to this mythic Ow. <laughs> this like uh, it was like a land but it was of the wrong time I don't know it was like you went back in time almost yeah. to fight him in like this feudal Japan era type place this place this kind of reminds me weren't you in a bamboo field? yeah but like the the city you were in before, like, was all snowy and like covered yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know, just like the that whole segment kind of reminds me of this, or this reminds me of that, rather. Give this or that. Do um, this and that and the thing. Kono so sono. Yeah, what he said. I <laughs> think that's right. Some Japanese Kono. person watching. He's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> you're not right. <laughs> On a scale of one to the right, you are left. <laughs> 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 sorry, uh, co co well, no, technically that's right, but it's, uh, Kore, Kore, sorry. Kono and um, Sono is, like, when you're trying to, like, state something, like, I would say, I would have to say, like, Kono, Kono Pen, or Kono Hon. <laughs> but if Same I'm way. just saying this or that, then I think I'd just say Kore. Mm. Or sorry. We na we named these uh, jelly eagles. Yeah, jelly eagles. Because they were jellyfish eagles. <laughs> By the way, if my Japanese is wrong, please correct me. I love to learn. If anybody knows enough to correct you. Yeah, don't be a, <laughs> don't be a jerk. Like, no. uh, it's actually como estas. <laughs> I think we go. Oh. Uh, I don't know which way. We think we can go go up any way we want to. The sky is ours. You can't take the sky from me. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm going down. I'm going back Wee. up. Hey, there we go. There's water. Or is that? 
are they still snowfalls? Make, make it look like waterfalls. Whee! Or air falls or something. Something's falling. Whee! Sammy, shut up! Sammy, don't ruin this. I mean, you already ruined it, but stop ruining it more. Uh, I have the power! <laughs> impression of He-Man and Skeletor at the same time. Oh, okay. I know, I you're, I know I you're all impressed. I couldn't tell, man. Uh -huh. My allergies are bothering me. Fly. Like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. What? Fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh, I thought you said sing like a bee. I mean, I guess bees can sing. I don't know why they couldn't. I don't know, man. Or, I mean, they might do the whole cricket thing where they, like, rub their wings against their body or something. Crickets are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was nuts. That took a turn. I freaking hate crickets. <laughs> <laughs> I think bees do this thing like crickets do. I hate crickets. <laughs> you remind me of this one guy. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. But have you ever been trying to go to sleep and there's like a cricket right outside your room and it's like chirping really loudly? Yes. And I, you can't get to sleep. It's happened to me before. I'm like, shut up. But it's like you can't find a cricket. That they, they're so loud that yeah, they could be anywhere. They could be in like one city over and you could still hear them. Probably not that far. That was a that was a Hyper hyperbole. Hyperbole. It was a, that was the epitome of hyperbole. <laughs> Mama? Are you in here, Mama? Dude, Mama? Mama, I'm so hungry. <laughs> the chef. The chef Boyardi. <laughs> Do you think anyone in Italy actually eats Chef Boyardi? Probably. Um, probably? Not. I don't, I don't know. know. If you live in Italy... <laughs> if we have one person that lives in Italy, let us know if you eat Chef Boyardi. Let us know how often. Let us see what let's know what your favorite is. Let us know what your least favorite is. How old were you when you started eating Chef Boyardee? Do you ever think you're just gonna stop eating Chef Boyardee? What's your mother's maiden name? <laughs> What's your social security number? What's the name of your first pet? What's your name of your third grade teacher? What's your favorite password? What's the password to your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> What's your bank account number? <laughs> It's at that point where someone's like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Something seems screwy here. And then... And then we we enter into the ether. The, the ethereal realm. Bliss. White. Eggshell white. I don't know. There's so many different kinds of whites. At some point it's just tan. Well, I don't know when it becomes tan. <laughs> it's like if you add too much black, it becomes gray. And if you add too much like yellow, it becomes tan. If you add too much red, it becomes pink. Ooh. Colors. <laughs> Colors, everyone, with green and purple. Welcome to the color wheel with green. The only color that matters is green. The color wheel is green. <laughs> <laughs> green and its complementary color, green. <laughs> But don't match it up with a forest green. They clash. <laughs> Here are the monochrome colors. Green, lime green, and yellow green. The bastard son of yellow and green. <laughs> There's also green yellow. <laughs> There's also Chris Bell, Genova Chen, Nicholas Clark, and John Edwards. <laughs> I basically just do that voice by just like, <laughs> trying to sink myself into my chin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> John Nesky, killing Santiago, who thinks she's too good for wise. <laughs> good job, Austin Wintery. Yeah, so um, uh, like we said last time, that you guys didn't hear because you know we lost it. Yeah, like uh, we 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 talked more about the game last time we recorded because we were seeing it for the first time, but we didn't want to try and just like emulate right what like oh we've never seen this before. So but basically, just... this is a beautiful game. I love how um, everything in this is up to your own interpretation. Like it's really open and like it 
it just presents itself and you know it is what it is and then it leaves it up to you like what you want to take it as yeah and I think that's really cool and Austin and I said that we think the basic concept is just it's not about the um it's not about the destination it's about the journey you know you know and that's why you know I almost whenever we entered into the light you know in most games if you're doing that you would be like is that it but with this I was like I think that's it like, yeah I didn't expect there to be more because it wasn't about what we were going to try and find. It was just about getting there. Yeah. Like, it's not like at the beginning it gave us this long exposition of, like, uh, the tower. The tower on the top of the mountain. You must reach it. Beat your brother. We just added that part. Yeah, that was <laughs> us. And, and uh, we gave it, a, gave it a five out of five scarves. Five out of five scarves. Both of us agreed on that. And, uh... Awesome. Put five out of five scarves up on the screen. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you didn't put it up there, it means that you, it was probably late at night and you were like, okay, I got the videos edited. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, just, uh, I really recommend it to anybody, really. And you don't even, even if you don't play video games that much or anything, it, you know, it's real simple. You only use, like, two buttons. Yeah. Three. Two or three, whatever. Whatever. And you so, can do it. Like, you don't have to be real big into video games. You don't have to be real into a certain type of video game. It doesn't really... I guess you could consider it a platformer, but it's not like Mario where it's supposed to be all tricky and everything. <laughs> it's just like... It's more just about traversing the environment and less about... I don't know, in Mario it's like you're kind of trying to beat the environment. Like you're beating its traps and whatever. Sammy, I'm not, not, no, we're not stopping for you again, Sammy. I shall not let you have the last Unless you get mark. really, really, really annoying. Mm -hmm. To the think. point where we can't even talk. <laughs> where we're just like, yeah, but I think this could, and, and it was, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, who was on the localization team? What, did you have to translate one sentence? There wasn't any speaking in the game. <laughs> All I had to do was... <laughs> I'm sorry, localization team. I didn't mean to belittle you. And right here, this I just take this as... Reincarnation. Yeah, basically. it's like everything... You know... You're starting... An, and like, you'll see here in a bit. It's We're back at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And it says... Uh, wait for it. Well, it's going to oh, tell yeah, it's gonna I tell wonder us. if it'll tell us everybody or not. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. I think that's it. We met like eight people Last actually time, in yeah. the game, but since this was technically a new journey, this is only the two people we met. Yeah. In this last little, you know, twenty minutes or so. The companions met along the. I don't know. I kind of. I, I the way I want kind of want to take this story is like I kind of want to interpret it into like just life in general. Mm -hmm. Just like companions met along the way can like symbolize like people that you meet yeah. along your journey of life that like. Yeah, and I guess. The whole, you know, it's all about the journey is really important because we're all, everyone's heading towards death in a sense. Right. Like, and if that's your goal, like, it's kind of not a great goal because, I mean, we don't know what happens after right. death. But, uh... It's what you do. It's what you do with your life and, you know, the people you meet and, you know, some of them, you, they might become your friends and, you know, they journey with you for a long time. And Whereas the, other ones, you know, they just come and go. Yeah. And, uh... Um... Another thing, which I think it, why it isn't reincarnation, um, at the end, like we said, it was very, like, that was like a Buddhist structure, you know, mm -hmm. it was like Buddhism, and like, yeah, they, they believe, believe in that. that reincarnation. Yeah. So. And it, it's a Japanese-made game, and, you know, there might be some people on the staff that, you know, believe in reincarnation, or just wanted to make a game with that kind of theme in it. Yeah. And, uh. So, yeah, it's just it's just in the, again, it's open. Yeah, to in, in the comments below, if you like have a theory or something, you want to just type it out. Yeah, cause... about the game or about what you think it means, or if you think we're stupid, like let us know. Yeah, it's just let's. <laughs> there, there's gonna be this one person that's gonna type out this like nice explanation at the end. It's like also you guys are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> also, I did want to let you know that you're stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna slide that in there. Well then. Uh... Hopefully you guys actually see this episode. Yeah! Elgato didn't mess up on this one, too. But uh, thank you guys for joining us for this journey. Thank you, Sammy. Bye, everybody. See ya!